Okay, so our focus on this tutorial is to look at uh, how you analyze data using what? Using R. So we're going to look at uh, chapter what? Uh, it's tutorial number three, uh, question number two, where we had temperature and density being uh, our variables, where temperature was an independent variable and density being our dependent variable. So we want to come up with uh, the linear model or which are estimates or the coefficients of our data or of our variables. Then we need to come up with uh, analysis of variance. We need the R square, etc. So now I've entered my data, which is uh, represented by line three, the one that I've highlighted. And make sure that you separate your numbers with a comma. And if you're writing a vector, you should use what SC, right? And then that's temperature. And then uh, line number five, that's what uh, density being given by what? By that. So density is equals to that expression. And then uh, that that is our that is our data, and then we need the what the, the the model. So the model that we're fitting is what is the linear regression model, which is the early model, and uh, we need the dependent variable uh, vis a v the what the independent variable. So this is a simple linear regression model. Remember, it has got only one uh, independent variable which is what which is temperature so if i fit this model and run it uh, and then now i want to see the output of the model i can use either use model right and then uh it was the object name of this uh command it's the model or object name of the whatever is on the right hand side it's model all right then on the model uh, we now can run it and see what comes out on the model. So you may realize from the model, we have got the coefficients, which is the intercept and the what? Uh, the coefficient of what? Of temperature, which is our slope, all right? So based on uh, that, right, we can uh, write out our model, right? But you can also get more information if you use what summary, uh, summary function. So you can say summary model one, right? And then you run it, you'd get more detailed information than just running model. So you see the difference of the, the, the difference of the two. Let's look at the console where I violated here. So the first uh, output uh, using just model gives us this and using summary model gives us all this information that we want, right? So now the information that are given here in the first, uh, it's on the residuals, right? The summaries uh, of the residuals of our, how they have computed the residuals for each point. Then we've got, um, we've got uh, what are called uh, estimates, right? Which is our first column, right? You've got the standard error of the second column. You've got the T uh, value, which is the third column. You've got the P value. Then these are called significance codes, right? Uh, they relate to the p values. So if you can see, if there are three stars, it represent uh, that uh, that p value is statistically significant, even at what at zero percent level of significance. And uh, sorry, it uh, it is zero point zero one level of significance because this corresponds to that, this corresponds to that, this corresponds to that, this corresponds to that. Then if there are codes, which means it's uh probably it's not significant at all right then we have got um the multiple r square that's the one that we have been dealing with is the what you call the coefficient of what of determination right you've got the adjusted r square this one i'm going to, to discuss about it in the next chapter we have got the f statistic which is this right uh, this one you've been conducting, you've been calculating it. I'm sure if you've performed a one analysis of variance, you realize uh, that's the F statistic for the one analysis of variance. And then this is the p-value that corresponds to the, what, the analysis of variance, which corresponds to this. So suppose you're using output results to test the significance of the regression line. Uh, you are using the p-value. Because if you had to use this F statistic, you would have to compute the critical values using what? 
the degrees of freedom one and what and four. So for you to see probably the information about that, the ANOVA table that you do, you use ANOVA function, you say ANOVA bracket model, and then you run that, you see that you get a column of what uh, on the console. Let's check on the console uh, here. You also get uh, the degrees of freedom that is one and four. This, uh, you realize that the, there's, not, there's no information about uh, the sum of squares of total. There's no the total part here on other, but you've got the degrees of freedom. You've got the sum of squares, you've got the mean square area, you've got the F, you've got the PVI, right? So now what is important is for us to be able to write what in the model and interpret what the results. So suppose uh, someone says, okay, let's write the model, right? Uh, the simple linear regression model, simple linear regression model. So you're going to say density. Density is equals to, then you take the, uh, the, the, the estimate of density. Okay, somebody may say, oh, say we don't understand it. What's, what's here. I think this is a scientific notation. We can always remove that by using a function. Every time when you use that function, we can always remove that by using uh, options. So if you use options, functional options, uh, and then you write skipping, you see those, uh, what to call scientific numbers, are removed and then you put three triple nine i'm sure let me see yes it does run so now we can run this and see what happens with the coefficients i'm sure it will give us the uh standard or ordinary or standard numbers i'm sure yeah, it has done it now so you can see on the console they are no longer scientific or which is called the standard form i'm sure you did it at high school so this is the coefficient we copied Right, and then you say density is equal to, and then we place this is our intercept uh, plus, right? We need the the slope. This is our slope, and then we write what uh, temperature. So this is our uh, simple linear what, regression model. Then the other question I'd say test the significance of the regression line, right? So when you're using the output in, in, in R, right, we are using uh, the ANOVA table, remember, to test the significance of the, of the regression line, which is this one that I violated on the console. So if you want to test the significance of the regression line, you would you must know the hypothesis by head to say you are testing for the significance of the of the slope. So the slope it's a uh, beta one so our hypothesis will be uh h h1 uh, sorry h0 uh where beta one is equals to zero we were saying a beta beta one is equals to zero it's a uh, statistically insignificant and then we write our alternate hypothesis which is um h1 uh then beta one is not equal to what to zero then uh, what's our rejection criteria we reject h naught if the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So our, 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 um, our p-value, which is 0 0.01 in this case that we got. So testing for the significance, significance of significance. of the regression line, right? So what would be our conclusion? We will say since p-value is equal to this, uh, which is uh, less than uh, 0 point what? Uh, 0 0.05. In brackets, we're saying it's that's five percent, right? Uh, level of uh, significance, right? We reject H naught or reject the now hypothesis 
So we're assuming that you know the, what the, 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 the hypothesis that you would know by head. So we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is no sufficient sufficient evidence to suggest that the a simple linear regression model is statistically insignificant. That's how we conclude uh, based on what? On the significance of the regression line from the from from the our outputs. All right. The next question talks about what? I calculate the 95% confidence interval of that. So on the confidence interval, we can we can use a confi. I'm sure there's a function called confi. If you're going to use confidence interval, because in this case, you are not given the confidence interval. Confidence interval, right? Let me try and see it's confi. All right, and then model, and then comma. Then if you are going to specify one, I'm sure it picks the confidence interval of the, of the slope. So yeah, if you say one, let me put a comment. One uh, represents what? Represents slope. And then if you want now to pick the, the sorry, the one, the first one represents the intercept. Which is the constant intercept slash constant. Then, if you want to pick two, uh, it will represent what the slope. So, the first coefficient is of the intercept, and the second is one so far of the slope. So, confi, uh, you put brackets model and point what two, then that represents what. Uh, represents represents CI uh, confidence for the. Hmm? You what you like? I'm saying, I'm just saying. No, I mean, I mean it. And do what I never look at. Oh, I can. You guys can you meet your mic. I know that, but then what did Boro do in I know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So it represents the confidence interval for the slope. So if you run, you get the confidence interval for the what? For the slope. So you've got the confidence interval for what? For both the intercept or the constant and the slope. So you should be able to use these results to interpret the significance of that of the intercept or of the slope. I'm sure if you research on the notes, you'll see how we make conclusions based on what on the confidence intervals. So research about how you can write the conclusion on the significance of that of the intercept in the, of the what of the slope. So the other thing, uh, what's another question there? Ara, you can do as many things as you can. Uh, it doesn't limit you in any instance. Calculate the coefficient of determination. The co coefficient of determination, I'm sure we added, it, but you can always retrieve it. Uh, this is the coefficient of determination, this one. And But if you want to retrieve it, I'm sure you can retrieve it. Let's try it. I'm sure I said coefficient, coefficient, or coefficient of determination. So it's a should be summary. And then you put what model. Then you should, you should put a dollar sign. I'm sure. Uh, R dot squared. Let me see this. Okay, I'm sure. Let me do this. 
put a bracket here and then I close here. Okay, let me find the proper function for us to get what the confidence interval, what called the, the coefficient of determination in R. I think it has got a short end. Uh, do you need to know? Let me type and see if it pops up. R dot Q is good. Q. No, it's not popping up. It's kind of... Okay, let me do this. The other way you can say names, right? So that you can pick up the names model. Yeah, that's the way. Model. Then you see the names that are in the model with R squared. Is it given here? No, it's not given on the console. Uh, it's somewhere what? I think I need to remember the function for this. Oh, it's SQ. Let me see SQ. Yes, it's SQ. All right. You know, if you know your commands very well, these things, they come back into your mind. So you need to know the, the functions for each. So this is the coefficient of determination, which is at 0 0.93. All right. Then you have to comment about it. All right, so you see all the co commands I'm typing, they're not in what, in, in there's no hashtag comment. So now you're saying the, um, the model accounts for 93.0, uh, 93% uh, uh, of variability, variability explained by uh, the independent variable. In this case, our independent variable is temperature. Full stop, all right. So suppose you want to estimate, uh, what do you call this? Uh, you want to estimate the other last question, uh, other does it? In this place, we didn't do that. I want to estimate uh, expected, um, what is the density would you expect for it? or temperature of 28, all right? So let's use our model, probably would say uh, model, um, then dollar sign and coefficients now. You can say model, uh, then you put what? Let me see, if you say model one, all right, I want to see whether I can get the slope. Okay, it gives me the, let me do see, summary. You can retrieve this information from uh, from the what you have the summary function. I'm sure let's let's run the summary so that you can understand how I retrieve that summary model. Mm. You see that um, this is on what it's on the first columns uh, first row, right? So suppose I want to retrieve only the what the the intercept. I would say summary, then it's a model. All right, I'm showing the square brackets. I have to say first row, uh, first column. So we would have to get 1.00 if we use that. Okay, it says the dimension. So let's let me do this. Let me put the brackets. If you put the brackets, uh, say somewhat what model. Or let me put one and see what happens. gives me that so okay probably i was supposed to put a dollar sign here and then put it the dollar sign is for retrieving all right there's something wrong where is it coming from it's 
So I don't want to do that one. There's something wrong, okay. There's something wrong on my typing. Summary model, then we put a code and let me see. I think there's something wrong on my typing. Incorrect dimension. What's the dimension of that? Let me see uh, first column and probably put two. Incorrect dimension, two one. it's an error throughout so let me see what's what's wrong with this function okay let me find it and then give it to you Okay, uh, I think I've got it. Mm. Okay, I think let's use the other function. Let's use coefficient. I'm sure that one is, is always also works. So you can say coefficient, right? Then model. Uh, and then you select the coefficient that you want. Suppose you want the first coefficient, which is the what, which is the slope. So you would probably say what, n square bracket is what one. You get this. So if you use the the model, so this is our model. You see this 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 intercept is this one, right? Then you can always write the equation uh, to make it works so it's coefficient now. Uh, and then you put model. Then you want to pick what? You want to pick uh, the coefficient number two, which is the slope. So then you multiply it by what? By put a star. Then you multiply it by what? By 28. So that you get what? Your density when temperature is close, what? It's close to 28. 28. So this will be the our, our density given that our temperature is what? 2028. So this is how you compute it. So density when temperature is 28. So for you to learn these things, you need to play around with this and then you get the concept about it. So let's let's hear the questions. Um, I'm sure you're going, yeah, we've got uh, six minutes for the questions. If we don't finish those questions, we'll attend the questions after after the 40 minutes has ex been exhausted. So may I have the questions, guys? If you've got a question, you can type, you can uh, unmute your mic and ask the question. Any questions? Guys, it's your opportunity to ask questions. If you realize that I have removed, I may remove somebody because if you are joining the meeting, 
please uh, mute your mic so that we don't hear uh, noise on the background. So any questions? You lost it? Yes, uh, go ahead, Tendai. Uh, I, I would like to ask you that, are we going to be examined on these issues? Uh, what, what's the intention of the question? I just want to know. Yeah, are you afraid of failing or are you afraid of knowing? It's like uh, I'm not even understanding what is going on. Muruji does say. That's why I say it. Is it your first time attending this Zoom tutorial for ARA, right? Yes, it's my first time, sir. Yeah. So what you need to do, you need to look for the video for the first lecture that we did uh, using ARA, and then probably you'll learn some of the things. And what I did is I, I said SPSS is Composer, right? So how we are going to examine you, we are going to examine you based on SPSS outputs. So from three to from two to three, I had a lecture on uh, SPSS, right? And uh, um, I, I, there's somebody who asked that question, and then I said I'll examine based on the outputs, right, of SPSS. For example, let me give you an output that is so simple here. Right, which is in uh in R, right? In R, I'm just giving it just for helping students, right? So that you know mm -hmm. the softwares that are in demand right now in, in industry. So you'll be expected to know. So this is the introduction of it. I'm trying to empower you guys uh to know some of the softwares. So mm -hmm. you look at this table, uh, which one let me use another table. But these things, if you have been, if you have been, if you have been doing these things are uh, practical, right? You realize these things. You have been doing them. For example, I may remove the F value. This one, which is fifty-three point three one one, and then I say complete the table. You should be knowing how you calculate your your F uh, when I give it, when you're doing your one over table. If it's uh, uh, MSR over uh, MSE. So you have to be able to know how to identify your MS what R over MSE. Suppose I, I decide to remove this one, right? You should be able to know how you, you compute that. Mm -hmm. If you know your formulas, you would understand it. If you've been following the notes or following the video that I've been posting of the lectures, you will understand uh, there's a theoretical aspect, there's the application aspect. So the application aspect, you have to understand the output in and out and how you interpret the values. Like as I was doing, I was able to write uh, the simple linear regression model right now, which is this one, based from the what? From the output, right? I was able to interpret uh, the ANOVA table, which is this, right? Uh, I was able now to interpret the what? Uh, the coefficient, coefficient of determination, which is this. And somebody says, uh, can you repeat on the confidence interval? Right, it's uh, Bethwell. So Bethwell, if, okay, before, t -t 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 I, I answered. Yes, yes, you correctly answered. Right, uh, Bethwell, um, uh, you need the confi int function if you're an R for you to perform that, the confidence interval. So, you would take the object name, which is our model. Remember, we've assigned our model, mod, the model to this function. So this is our model, right? So you use confi, confi int, and then you assign, you write the model, and then uh, you consider one. Why one? One will be the first what from the model. You realize one is the first coefficient, which is what of the intercept, which is this one. So if I say model confi, confi model one. I'm saying let's calculate the confidence interval for that for the intercept over the constant, which is this. And so uh, if you calculate your manually your confidence interval, you should get it this way. All right. Uh confi is uh for the so I'm sure one minute we might be exhausted in time soon soon. Or we join using the link, somebody the question. 
So Bethel, you would use, uh, if you want to convert 